This is the Health Revolution 12 week program. Today we're going to be taking you through day one, phase one, and we're super excited because even if you've never worked out before, Maria, yeah. is this not? Yeah. This is something you can do. I ha had never been working with weights before, before I started with Rita. So if I can do this, you can too with the help of Rita. There you go. Yeah. So we're going to be going through the exact proper form today. I always believe in form before resistance. So don't pick up those weights or those dumbbells until you're ensured that you have proper form. Then we add the resistance, then we add everything else and we get you on your way. Are yeah. you ready? I'm ready. All right, so our first movement on day one is the standard squat. It might be the simplest exercise, but it is the one that is mostly done wrong. So we're gonna make sure that we get your proper form. We're gonna be showing you a few reps, but make sure you go to the book and make sure that you see how many reps you actually have to do. So Maria, let's see your squat. Yep. We're gonna be facing the bench yep. here. I like to say about hip with the part, just like Maria is right here, okay? You're going to engage your, we're gonna do no weights right now. We are going to engage those glutes. We're gonna come down about parallel. If you hold that there, Maria, you're gonna see she's about parallel to the ground. Really great form, keeping that chest high. And then we're gonna come right back up, Maria. Let's do one more, really slow for everybody. You see her heels are down here. We really wanna ensure that. I, I encourage people to do it without shoes at the beginning if they find that it's challenging and come right back up, Maria. Maria's got great form, so we're gonna add the dumbbells for Maria right now so she can get a feel for that. How are you feeling, Maria? I'm feeling great. And I mean, we're doing it in the garden now. And of course, you can do the same thing in the gym. So um, let's go. Yeah, let's go. All right. Shoulders back, chest proud. Come back into those heels, Maria. And I engage the core, don't I? Always. Always. Every exercise you do. Here we go. All the way down. Hold. And then back up. Great. Let's do a few of these for everybody. And up. And you got to exhale like Maria. And up. And do the butt press. Okay. <laughs> we like the butt press. Boom. Yeah, and boom. then if you're a great trainee, you just slap them. Okay. Yeah. So I love this, Maria. I'm just going to show some yeah. people if they don't feel comfortable holding the weights yeah. like that, an option is I'm going to get you to hold them up by your shoulder. So just okay. maybe face everybody. Both of them? Yeah. And just hold them here. Yeah. And give me a standard squat that way. Yeah. We can show people an option and then press right up. Right. And let's do one more. Down and up. Great. Now I want you to hold one dumbbell only, and I know you have a, perf a preference of how you do yeah. your squats. Show everybody how you like your squats. Yeah. So I like them a bit like this. And go down and, and up. up. Great. And because I have a bit of a lower back issue, so that's yeah, great for me. But there you. are many different versions. So many things. So we've shown you various ways to hold the dumbbells. The perfect squat with Maria. So we're gonna go on to movement two. Movement two, we're gonna do a standard chest press. So I'm gonna get Maria to lie on this bench. We should also mention that we're doing this out in the garden today because it's a lovely day, yeah. but you can do this at your gym where you're gonna have tons of equipment ready for you. Yeah, um, and if you don't have a bench, you can do this on a floor, you can do it on a stability ball, you can really do it anywhere. Yeah, you can okay. do it on like a low table. Absolutely. Like a sofa table, if yeah. it has strong legs. All right, watch the legs first. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna get Maria to lie down all the way, and I'm gonna get her to hold the two dumbbells in each hand. Okay, and they're gonna be facing each other, parallel, arms straight up, and you really wanna bring, it's hard to see on Maria because she's lying down, but shoulders, down and back and engaged. You don't want loosey-goosey shoulders when you're doing this. Great, her, her dumbbells are right above. You're gonna bend those shoulders right to the 90 degrees. You're gonna just pause for a second, then you're gonna push all the way up just till the weights are at the top. You really don't want them clinking together. You really wanna control the weight. Right, right back down, Maria. Down oh, I, lo I love hold. the clinking. And she, she, wants, to, she clink? wants to clink. I Maria's clink. like the rebel of all clients. So let's go. I don't wanna do that. I wanna clink. do this. And keep going, Maria. Good. And down. And you really wanna keep this slow and push. Exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down. Exhale. Core is always engaged. Feet are on the ground and push. You always want to think your entire body is working together as you do any movement. Awesome job, Maria. Great. How did that feel? Great. Do you yeah. love this yeah, exercise? I love, I love this exercise. This Simple, is working good. shoulders. This is working chest. this chest mm -hmm. area. It's just 
one of my favorite exercises. Great. So what do we have next on the list here? It's the lunges. It walking is. Lunges. So we love walking lunges. I love walking lunges. They're great for the glutes, for the quads, for the hamstrings, for really everything. So let's show proper form yeah. just by grabbing the dumbbells. We're not going to be doing a walking lunge here just for demonstration purposes, but if you have an area to walk around, whether it's a track, a living room, a basement, the gym, uh, just a pathway, you really want to make sure that you get those walking lunges in. We're going to show them stationary right here. So you're going to move forward, shoulders back, right back up, Maria, and then the other side. The important thing with a lunge is you want to keep up on the toes on that back foot. I'm going to keep you here for a while. Hope you can stand that. You're going to keep your toes up on the back foot. You really want that 90-90 angle and that front foot should be in the heel. And then come back up. Great. And other side. And you notice Maria has some space between each leg. She's not too close. You almost want to think that you're on a railway track in terms of the distance. And back. Let's do one more each side. Down. And other side. Yeah. Good job. And how do you how do you like walking yeah, lunges? I like, I like proper walking. Proper. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's harder when you're stationary. Walking lunges will give you that little bit of momentum, almost like you're dancing. Yeah, right? dancing forward. Yeah, let's dance forward. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So it's okay. Move on. I believe we have a dumbbell bent over row next. I'm just gonna check. Yeah, our... we have a bent over row. So, do you want to grab the yeah. fives for this? Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Okay. So it's this. Yeah. So with a dumbbell Sticking bent at the bum. Yeah. Before we get Maria into position, the yeah. bent over row is really working our back muscles, which oftentimes I feel like we forget the back yeah. part of our back. Yeah. Anytime you're doing a pushing movement, like a push up or the chest press we did, you want to counteract that with a few back movements. That's just going to make sure the posture is good and that we avoid that rounding gait. So Maria's going to come down almost into a bent over position, flat back and she's gonna roll those dumbbells up and back down. Now, I would always get Maria to look forward just so her yeah. neck is in proper position because as that weight gets heavy, we're gonna slow down a little bit, Maria. We're not gonna move that lower body, so I'm gonna get Maria to go not move the lower body at all, just move that upper wow. body. Okay. Squeeze those shoulder blades together and back down, perfect. And squeeze them together and back down, perfect. Always looking at a spot in front of you. And let's do a couple more. And you should really feel like you're squeezing an orange between your shoulder blades. That's the feeling you want. Are you feeling it back here, Maria? Yeah. Strong back, strong core, strong legs. Great. I think we're good for that You're movement. Good for that. Do you feel good? Yep. Awesome. Now we're moving on to our next movement, which my mind it is has. Plank. You're so good, Maria. Yeah. You've got this workout. Yeah, down. yeah, I got this workout. So a plank. The number one problem I see with planks is that people put that butt right in the air. So yeah. give me a bad plank. Yeah, a bad plank. I never like to show the bad. That's the bad plank, okay? Or, or this. Or this, right? Like we hanging, don't want that. Hanging plank. <laughs> or like we want you to be a cigarette <laughs> while you're doing the plank. Hey, or your trainer sits on your butt. Yeah. I really like that one. But okay, so with the standard plank, we want to make sure the belly button is to the spine. We're gonna bring those hips down parallel to the ground, just like a plank of wood. Maria's doing hers from her shoulders right now, from her elbows. It can also be done from your hands. So you can choose um, which one feels more comfortable for you. You want to hold this, I believe in the program, you're gonna have to check is about 45 second hold on week one. That's a long time. It is a long time. <laughs> it is a long time. You can work your way up, start with 10. Then the next week, challenge yourself to 20 and then 30. Work your way up to that 45 seconds. This is working your transverse abdominus. It's like the weight belt that keeps your entire middle core together. Okay, so you're gonna hold that. And like Maria just did, go to your knees, take a break and get back up on the horse. Yeah. Right? Excellent. You gotta keep going. Yeah. So that was day one. How do you feel? I feel great. Yeah. And I think also it's important to point out why are we doing all these muscle exercises? They build muscle, they uh, increase muscle volume, that lowers inflammation. It will give you joy, it will change your brain chemistry, it will change your skeleton, your metabolism. Like 10 different reasons for doing it. It's all in the book, so you yeah. make sure you get that yeah. book. But um, everything Maria said and more, and you feel 
so good yeah. when you're done. Yeah. And you're sculpting and changing your entire life from your body to your mindset, to your emotions, to everything. Yeah, everything. When you start your day with a workout like mm -hmm. this, the rest of the day is easy. Yeah. And, and that can be, I started when I was 52 doing weight training uh, and you will not turn into Arnold Schwarzenegger no you, you will turn into you yeah a better version of you so yeah pick up your dumbbell take one day at a time one step at a time one rep at a time one sip at a time yeah and slowly you will get yeah. on your way yeah, right yeah start yeah. with a form and add the weight slowly yeah if she can do it if I can do it you can do it next time <laughs> <laughs>